For a topical guide to this subject, see Outline of the Metric System. The centimeter-gram-second system of units is a variant of the metric system based on the centimeter as the unit of length the gram as the unit of mass, and the second as the unit of time. All CGS mechanical units are unambiguously derived from these three base units, but there are several different ways of extending the CGS system to cover electromagnetism. The CGS system has been largely supplanted by the MKS system based on the meter, kilogram, and second, which was in turn extended and replaced by the international system of units. In many fields of science and engineering, SI is the only system of units in use but there remain certain subfields where CGS is prevalent. In measurements of purely mechanical systems, the differences between CGS and SI are straightforward and rather trivial. The unit conversion factors are all powers of 10 as 100 cm equals 1 meter and 1000 g equals 1 kilogram. For example, the CGS unit of force is the dyne which is defined as 1 gram centimeter per square second. So the SI unit of force, the newton, is equal to 100,000 dynes. On the other hand, in measurements of electromagnetic phenomena, converting between CGS and SI is much more subtle and involved. In fact, formulas for physical laws of electromagnetism need to be adjusted depending on which system of units one uses. This is because there is no one-to-one -one correspondence between electromagnetic units in SI and those in CGS, as is the case for mechanical units. Furthermore, within CGS, there are several plausible choices of electromagnetic units, leading to different unit subsystems, including Gaussian units, EESU, EMU, and Heaviside Lorentz. Among these choices, Gaussian units are the most common today, and in fact the phrase CGS units is often used to refer specifically to CGS Gaussian units. History the CGS system goes back to a proposal in 1832 by the German mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss to base a system of absolute units on the three fundamental units of length, mass and time. Gauss chose the units of millimeter, milligram and second. In 1874, it was extended by the British physicists James Clerk Maxwell and William Thomson with a set of electromagnetic units and the selection of centimeter, gram and second and the naming of CGS. The sizes of many CGS units turned out to be inconvenient for practical purposes. For example, many everyday objects are hundreds or thousands of centimeters long, such as humans, rooms and buildings. Thus the CGS system never gained wide general use outside the field of science. Starting in the 1880s, and more significantly by the mid-20th century, CGS was gradually superseded internationally for scientific purposes by the MKS system, which in turn developed into the modern SI standard. Since the international adoption of the MKS standard in the 1940s and the SI standard in the 1960s, the technical use of CGS units has gradually declined worldwide, in the United States more slowly than elsewhere. CGS units of today no longer accepted by the house styles of most scientific journals, textbook publishers, or standards bodies. Although they are commonly used in astronomical journals such as the Astrophysical Journal, CGS units are still occasionally encountered in technical literature, especially in the United States in the fields of material science, electrodynamics and astronomy. The continued usage of CGS units is most prevalent in magnetism and related fields, as the primary MKS unit, the Tesla, is inconveniently large, leading to the continued common use of the Gauss, the CGS equivalent. The units gram and centimeter remain useful as prefix units within the SI system, especially for instructional physics and chemistry experiments where they match the small scale of tabletop setups. 
However, where derived units are needed, the SI ones are generally used and taught instead of the CGS ones today. For example, a physics lab course might ask students to record lengths in centimeters and masses in grams, but force in newtons, a usage consistent with the SI system. Definition of CGS units in mechanics in mechanics, the CGS and SI systems of units are built in an identical way. The two systems differ only in the scale of two out of the three base units, while the third unit is the same in both systems. There is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the base units of mechanics in CGS and SI, and the laws of mechanics are not affected by the choice of units. The definitions of all derived units in terms of the three base units are therefore the same in both systems, and there is an unambiguous one-to-one -one correspondence of derived units. Thus, for example, the CGS unit of pressure, Burry, is related to the CGS base units of length, mass, and time in the same way as the SI unit of pressure, Pascal, is related to the SI base units of length, mass, and time. One unit of pressure equals one unit of force, two equals one unit of mass, two, one bar equals one gram, one Pascal equals one kilogram. Expressing a CGS derived unit in terms of the SI base units, or vice versa, requires combining the scale factors that relate the two systems. 1 bar equals 1 gram, equals 10 minus 3 kilograms, equals 10 minus 1 kilogram, equals 10 minus 1 pascal. Definitions and conversion factors of CGS units in mechanics derivation of CGS units in electromagnetism. CGS approach to electromagnetic units The conversion factors relating electromagnetic units in the CGS and SI systems are much more complex, so much, so that formulae expressing physical laws of electromagnetism are different depending on what system of units one uses. This illustrates the fundamental difference in the ways the two systems are built. In SI, the unit of electric current, the ampere, was historically defined such that the magnetic force exerted by two infinitely long, thin, parallel wires one meter apart and carrying a current of one ampere is exactly two times 10 minus 7 n per meter. This definition results in all SI electromagnetic units consistent with the EMU-CGS system described in further sections. The ampere is a base unit of the SI system, with the same status as the meter, kilogram, and second. Thus the relationship in the definition of the ampere with the meter and newton is disregarded, and the ampere is not treated as dimensionally equivalent to any combination of other base units. As a result, electromagnetic laws in SI require an additional constant of proportionality to relate electromagnetic units to kinematic units. All other electric and magnetic units are derived from these four base units using the most basic common definitions. For example, electric charge Q is defined as current I multiplied by time T. Therefore the unit of electric charge, the coulomb, is defined as 1 C equals 1 A S. The CGS system avoids introducing new base units and instead derives all electric and magnetic units directly from the centimeter, gram, and second based on the physical laws that relate electromagnetic phenomena to mechanics. Alternate derivations of CGS units in electromagnetism Electromagnetic relationships to length, time and mass may be derived by several equally appealing methods. Two of them rely on the forces observed on charges. Two fundamental laws relate the electric charge or its rate of change to a mechanical quantity such as force. They can be written in system-independent form as follows. The first is Coulomb's law, which describes the electrostatic force F between electric charges and separated by distance d. Here is a constant which depends on how exactly the unit of charge is derived from the CGS base units. The second is Ampere's force law, which describes the magnetic force F per unit length L between currents I and I, flowing in two straight parallel wires of infinite length. 
separated by a distance d that is much greater than the wire diameters. Since an, the constant also depends on how the unit of charge is derived from the CGS base units. Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism relates these two laws to each other. It states that the ratio of proportionality constants and must obey, where C is the speed of light in vacuum. Alternatively, deriving the unit of current, and therefore the unit of charge, from the Ampere's force law by setting or, will lead to a constant prefactor in the Coulomb's law. Indeed, both of these mutually exclusive approaches have been practiced by the users of CGS system leading to the two independent and mutually exclusive branches of CGS, described in the subsections below. While the electric field can be related to the work performed by it on a moving electric charge, the magnetic force is always perpendicular to the velocity of the moving charge, and thus the work performed by the magnetic field on any charge is always zero. This leads to a choice between two laws of magnetism, each relating magnetic field to mechanical quantities and electric charge. The first law describes the Lorentz force produced by a magnetic field B on a charge Q moving with velocity V. The second describes the creation of a static magnetic field B by an electric current I of finite length dL at a point displaced by a vector R, known as biot savart law, where R and R the length and the unit vector in the direction of vector R respectively. These two laws can be used to derive Ampere's force law above, resulting in the relationship. Therefore, if the unit of charge is based on the Ampere's force law such that, it is natural to derive the unit of magnetic field by setting. However, if it is not the case, a choice has to be made as to which of the two laws above is a more convenient basis for deriving the unit of magnetic field. Furthermore, if we wish to describe the electric displacement field D and the magnetic field H in a medium other than vacuum, we need to also define the constants epsilon zero and mu zero, which are the vacuum permittivity and permeability, respectively. Then we have an, where P and M are polarization density and magnetization vectors. The factors lambda and lambda are rationalization constants, which are usually chosen to be a dimensionless quantity. If lambda equals lambda equals 1, the system is said to be rationalized. The laws for systems of spherical geometry contain factors of 4 pi, those of cylindrical geometry, factors of 2 pi, and those of planar geometry contain no factors of pi. However, the original CGS system used lambda equals lambda equals 4 pi, or equivalently. Therefore, Gaussian ESU and EMU subsystems of CGS are not rationalized. Various extensions of the CGS system to electromagnetism The table below shows the values of the above constants used in some common CGS subsystems. The constant B in SI system is a unit-based scaling factor defined as. Also, note the following correspondence of the above constants to those in Jackson and Lung. In system-independent form, Maxwell's equations can be written as. Note that of all these variants, only in Gaussian and heaviside Lorentz systems equals rather than 1. As a result, vectors and of an electromagnetic wave propagating in vacuum have the same units and are equal in magnitude in these two variants of CGS. Electrostatic units in one variant of the CGS system, electrostatic units, charge is defined via the force it exerts on other charges in current is then defined as charge per time. It is done by setting the Coulomb force constant, so that Coulomb's law does not contain an explicit prefactor. The ESU unit of charge, Franklin, also known as stack Coulomb or ESU charge, is therefore defined as follows. Two equal point charges spaced one centimeter apart are said to be of one Franklin each if the electrostatic force between them is one dyne. Therefore, in electrostatic CGS units, a Franklin is equal to a centimeter times square root of dyne. The unit of current is defined as 
dimensionally in the ESUCGS system. Charge Q is therefore equivalent to M1 half L3, 2T minus 1. Hence, neither charge nor current is an independent physical quantity in ESUCGS. This reduction of units is the consequence of the Buckingham Pi theorem. ESU notation all electromagnetic units in the ESUCGS system that do not have proper names are denoted by a corresponding SI name with an attached prefix, STAT, or with a separate abbreviation, ESU. Electromagnetic units in another variant of the CGS system, electromagnetic units, current is defined via the force existing between two thin, parallel, infinitely long wires carrying it, and charge is then defined as current multiplied by time. In the EMU-CGS subsystem, this is done by setting the ampere force constant so that Ampere's force law simply contains 2 as an explicit prefactor. The emu unit of current, biote, also known as a bampere or emu current, is therefore defined as follows. The biote is that constant current which, if maintained in two straight parallel conductors of infinite length, of negligible circular cross-section, and placed one centimeter apart in vacuum, would produce between these conductors a force equal to two dynes per centimeter of length. Therefore, in electromagnetic CGS units, a biote is equal to a square root of dyne. The unit of charge in CGS emu is Dimensionally in the EMU-CGS system, charge Q is therefore equivalent to M1, 2L1 half. Hence, neither charge nor current is an independent physical quantity in EMU-CGS. EMU notation all electromagnetic units in EMU-CGS system that do not have proper names are denoted by a corresponding SI name with an attached prefix. AB, or with a separate abbreviation, EMU. Relations between EESU and EMU units The ESU and EMU subsystems of CGS are connected by the fundamental relationship, where C equals 29,979,245,803.1010 is the speed of light in vacuum in centimeters per second. Therefore, the ratio of the corresponding primary electrical and magnetic units is equal either to C minus 1 or C, and units derived from these may have ratios equal to higher powers of C. For example, other variants there were at various points in time about half a dozen systems of electromagnetic units in use, most based on the CGS system. These also include the Gaussian units and the heavyside Lorentz units. Further complicating matters is the fact that some physicists and electrical engineers in North America use hybrid units, such as volts per centimeter for electric fields and amperes per centimeter for magnetic fields. However, these are essentially the same as the SI units, by the simple conversion of all lengths used from meters into centimeters. Electromagnetic units in various CGS systems. In this table, C equals 29,979,245,803.1010 is the speed of light in vacuum in the CGS units of centimeters per second. The symbol is used instead of equals as a reminder that the SI and CGS units are corresponding but not equal because they have incompatible dimensions. For example, according to the next to last row of the table, if a capacitor has a capacitance of 1F in SI, then it has a capacitance of CM in ESU, but it is usually incorrect to replace 1F with CM within an equation or formula. One can think of the SI value of the Coulomb constant KC as this explains why SI to ESU conversions involving factors of C2 lead to significant simplifications of the ESU units, such as 1 STATF equals 1 cm and 1 STAT omega equals 1 S per centimeter. This is the consequence of the fact that in ESU system KC equals 1. For example, a centimeter of capacitance is the capacitance of a sphere of radius 1 centimeter in vacuum. The capacitance C between two concentric spheres of radii R and R in ESU CGS system is 
by taking the limit as r goes to infinity we see c equals r physical constants in CGS units.